Good morning. Wow, you guys got some machinery. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm Aaron. Justin. Justin, nice to meet you. I don't know where Joe's at. I just, I just texted him. He should be right, coming right, right now. Wow, this is going to be cool. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. My sheep are like in the exact spot where the well drillers are going to be working. Yes, the sheep. Yes, the sheep. We gotta get out of the way. Yeah. Yes, sheep. Yeah. Let's go. We'll put you in the yard. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Abby. Come on, Abby. Let's go. Come on. Yes, sheep. Chickens are getting away. We made make a cheese last night. I got the cheese press over there leaning upside down against my wagon because it rained last night and I accidentally left it out. Sheep look like they're done grazing in there. Chilling out as close as they can to the wagon. That's where they lay down. You guys digging it? You guys done? Done with the way? Good chance. I gotta clean their water dish. Big water trough. This is heavy, it's like seven gallons. Good enough. That is really cake down stuff that I'm not able to get off with this. I need like a wire brush or something. Okay. Got my right hand, my strong arm. Heave! Yeah. All right, go get your fresh water. Huh. There you go, it's open. Go get the water, chickens. Yes, so chickens. Yeah. Chickens. Chickens. Give me chicken, 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 they backwash more than any other animal in their water troughs. Chickens, they're always like, they're always uh, trying to eat little rocks and pieces of debris in order to grind up the other food that they eat. So they backwash really bad. And then this one in here, it, they flap their wings around and dust settles down into this water trough, like way more. So what I gotta do every once in a while. Hello, little hens. How are you? Uh, so what I gotta do every once in a while is uh, pick it up and tip it uh, to the back. We got the spout over here. So tip it the opposite way. Let's clean it out a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna have to refill this one tomorrow. There. Now you got cleanish water for the laying hens. Bird's got grain. These grain. Um, Troughs are about the dumbest invention ever. These little, these little, there's three of these wires that you can set to low, medium, or high hole, and they just go up and go 90 degrees. So they're actually really annoying um, to try to fill because um, if any one of these comes out, then you're playing that game where you're like putting in this one that fell out, and then as soon as you put that one in and level it out, then the other one falls out. It's really annoying. Um, so what we did was to remedy that, I think they're still too full for us to 
It just took a little for me to show you, but let me see. Basically what we did was took a skinny piece of duct tape, about that wide, and like an inch and a half long, and wrapped it around the inside of the, the nubs down there that go through so that they can't fall out. So that's a, that's a chicken grain trough hack. And uh, now we just need to figure out something else to improve the design flaw here where the the food just gets knocked out. I mean, look at all this. This is all grain around here. Like probably 50% of the ground in here isn't even chicken poop. It's fresh grain. Look, they're eating the grain off the ground. And I think that's predominantly due to the wild birds that come in and the birds like land directly in there and flap their wings and stuff and kick it out. I think they scratch it too, scratch it out. All they need to do is make this higher, this wall on the outside if it was twice as tall. I mean, chickens, you know, their heads are this tall. They can go down in there, that's, that's easy. There's no need for it to be this low. I don't know why whoever had enough money to make this company hasn't improved their design yet. I mean, I understand people just like being like, all right, we've got a prototype. Let's kick it out to market but these this design has been around for 20 years at least that I know of so I don't understand why they haven't improved it and why they're still selling it at the uh, at the Grange co-op there we go happy chickens got fresher water now are you happy with chickens now getting fresh water You guys are funny. They follow me all around the farm. It's so weird. Like they just came in here and followed me in here. Good chickens. Yes. Anybody want to try some sheep milk? I'm good. I figured you guys were on lunch. No, no, no we're done. We're getting ready to leave. Cool, man. Anybody? I'm about to leave. You want to try some sheep milk? Sweet and creamy. That ain't bad. Yeah. No goatee flavor, right? No. Yeah. You, you, uh, you've had goat milk before? No. Oh, you haven't had? Uh, you, when you try goat milk, you'll be like, oh, that's got like a weird flavor to it. That weird flavor gets old real quick. Right, Klaus is drilling, rolling out. And so are we. Yeah. We're rolling out too, aren't we? You ready, buddy? Ready, buddy? Your chin strap pad is coming off. Have a good one, guys. Good boy, buddy, 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 Yeah. You ready? Silly boy. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Hey, buddy. Oh, are you being cute? Are you being cute? You're happy? Are you a happy boy? Are you a happy boy? Yeah. Ready? Let's go! Good sheep! Yes! Good boy, buddy, 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 buddy! Oh, you're so happy! Good boy, buddy! Happy sheep! Happy sheep! Happy sheep, beep, beep, beep! Happy sheep! Happy sheep! Happy sheep. Happy sheep, beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Good boy, buddy. I hear a turkey. Damn, that's a family. Oh, it's two grown ones and a bunch of babies. I can't kill them. They got enough to deal with. I need help. I'm right here.